guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I'm going to be doing a little collective haul of a few things I brought recently. Basically I went shopping with my boyfriend Luke. Um, we didn't do like a massive shopping day or anything, we just went to a few different shops and spent like an hour or two looking around so it wasn't like a massive shopping trip and there's not loads to show you. I basically just have a few little bits and bobs that I thought I would share with you in this video and they're kind of a little bit random but yeah thought I'd show you anyway and there's some stuff that I want to talk to you about that I brought and tell you my plans with how I'm going to use them which sounds a bit random but it'll make sense as the video goes on. Okay so the first thing I will show you is what I'm wearing. We went into H&M which is a shop that I really love and I don't shop there enough to be honest. I have a few things from there but not a lot and I found this jumper like on its own it wasn't with a load of others, it was just randomly placed somewhere in a size medium which is the size I always go for in jumpers like this so I just knew it was a sign and it's a jumper that I've wanted for a long time and I was like I've just got to get it. It was $12.99 or $13.99 but it is this jumper, it's this really cool orange colour, I don't have anything like this and I am going to just sort of sit up a little bit so you can see. So it's got this big B on the front and then on the side it says Stadium Tour and it says Bieber. So it's obviously a Justin Bieber jumper and I know they had these in Urban Outfitters and they did them in H&M as well. And I know it's a lot more pricey in Urban Outfitters, although I do like the stuff there, I know it's a lot more pricey. So I knew that um, H&M had done them as well and I've been wanting one for the longest time but I just sort of missed out on it. But then I just found one on its own like a long time after they were even like on sale so I don't know what happened there, it was just very lucky. Also on the back, I'll try and show you. I could have just done a try on section but I only have this one item of clothing so might as well just show you now. It says Stadium Tour 2017. This is like the worst way of showing it, I know, look ridiculous. As you can tell it's not like a new thing in H&M, it's like something that had been out for a long time and I randomly just found it on its own in the size that I wanted so I couldn't say no so like I said it was about 12 or 13.99 and it's super soft this is the first time I've worn it and yeah I really like it I love the colour and these sort of jumpers are like my favourite thing. We also went into boots and I just picked up a few things that I have used in the past but I'd ran out of and I wanted to stock up on them and the first thing is a concealer Again, I have not run out of concealer. I've still got some, like, a fairly new tube of concealer left that I'm using at the moment, which is the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer, but I saw this and it's really hard to get this concealer in lighter shades. Um, so when I saw it, I just had to get it just to stock up. And it is, of course, the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. And this is actually in a new shade. The original lightest shade was in number one, Fair and now they have zero, which is extra fair. To be honest, fair is usually pretty light on me anyway, so I'm worried this might be too light, but I do like to brighten under my eyes, and I just thought I'd give this shade a go, and I am quite pale anyway. Once I've run out of my other one, I will try it out and see what it's like. If it's too light, then I don't know what I'll do, but I'm sure it'll be fine, and I'm looking forward to having this again because, like I said, I, I've found it impossible to get this in my shade a lot of the time. I also got, like, my favourite brow product I've ever used, and I'm so excited to have it back because I've run out a while ago. There's someone at the door. Be right back. I've had this brow product before, and I loved it, and I ran out kind of a while back, and... I just never repurchased it. I started using more of my Tanya Burr palette again, which is, like, the powder palette like the powder brow palette which I've also nearly run out of my shade in that as well so yeah I saw this when we went into boots and I picked it up because they don't have NYX in Superdrug and that's usually where I go to more and I have a Superdrug card so if I'm ordering makeup I'll usually order it off Superdrug or buy it from Superdrug. I don't go to boots that often because I just don't. I do like to go to boots because they have NYX there and I got I just threw it. And I got the NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade in the shade Blonde, which I fell in love with when I first had it. My friend M used this on me when she did my makeup once and I fell in love with it, so instantly went out and ordered it. 
went out and ordered it. I just ordered it and I loved it so much. So I saw it in there again. I forgot that Boots even had a NYX. I just wanted to go in there to have a look at the makeup because it's me and I love makeup. And I saw it again and I was like, I've got to get that while I'm here because I know I'll never get around to ordering it again. Well, I probably would have, but I just thought whilst I was there, I might as well get it so that I can start using it again. And I've used it a few times since I got it because it was last weekend. Technically this is going up later, I believe. So it will have been a couple of weeks ago now, but yeah, I've used it quite a bit so far already and I love it. It's what I've used today. I know my brows aren't in the best condition anyway because I haven't had them done in years, quite literally. So even though I don't have the best brows, I feel like that makes it easier for me to do them because I can shape them a lot better with that. So yeah, I just really love that and I love the shade blonde. It is literally my perfect shade, so I love it. Then I also brought one of my favorite liquid lipsticks ever, if not my top favorite, because I had a mini version of it that I got for Christmas and I saw it again and I just had to pick it up because I used to wear it all the time and I thought it's so worth getting again because it, I love the way it looks. I know I'll wear it a lot and it's just, sort of been missing from a lot of my makeup looks because I ran out. I'm like, I really wish I still had that. So I got the full size one because the little one was in a Christmas set. That's why I only got a small one because I think my mom brought a set of them and gave like me and my sister and my cousin like one each. And I got the shade Birthday Suit and this is the one that I had before, obviously, like I said, and ran out. And now I have another one and it's full size so it'll last me even longer and I'm so excited to have this again. I've missed this a lot. I love it so much. Honestly, if you're looking for a new nude liquid lipstick, 100% recommend this. It is so good. Now onto the last lot of stuff, and this is actually from Hobbycraft. And again, sounds very random, but I wanted to talk through these things with you and sort of explain why I got them. I wasn't gonna get anything. We just ended up popping in to WH Smith to start off with and Luke was looking for a scrapbook for something. And then we also went into Hobbycraft as well and that's where we got the majority of the things from. So I'll show you those. I actually got two scrapbooks, which again, I wasn't planning on getting anything. Luke was looking for scrapbooks himself, but seeing him shopping for scrapbook related stuff made me really want to do it as well because I'm one of those people that has always wanted to do a scrapbook. I love that sort of thing. I always keep like concert tickets, show tickets. I keep so many different things in like a memory box, which you've seen me do videos about before. And I've always wanted to do a scrapbook, but I always think yeah, like, I've always been really like particular about how I'd want it to be. And I've always said it'd have to start from the beginning of the year to the end of the year. And then there's been times where I tried to start one and I'd forget and like, hardly do anything or I'd go to start one and then realised I'd missed out the first few months of the year and be like, I'll have to wait till the start of next year. I know I sound ridiculous right now, but then I decided, no, I'm just gonna get one and start it from now. I'll just deal with it. And I just really wanted to do it. And another reason that I didn't really do much scrapbooking was because I knew that if I wanted to print pictures to go with it, which I obviously would want to, it'd be a lot of effort because I'd have to go down to like a photo shop and keep getting them printed. I just knew that I wouldn't get round to it all the time. But now I actually have a HP sprocket that I got for Christmas where you can print out like any photos and you connect it to your phone. So I thought, perfect, I can use that. And they're like cute little pictures. So it's even better that they're like smaller ones, like Polaroid size ones. So it's perfect. So we've got two scrapbooks. The first one is just a plain one and it's got this little black tie at the side. You can't really tell on camera, but I've written in pencil a 21 on the front just so I remember what I've now decided to use this for. So like I said, I'm just gonna put general stuff in here, like all the things I do. And I know I was very particular about saying I used to want to start it from the beginning of the year, but I thought because it's just been my birthday, I could start this from my birthday. So it could be, 21 I could I could have 21 on the front and this could be my year as a 21 year old and then get another one for when I'm 22 and do it that way I thought it was perfect timing and I know I don't have to do it like that I can just start it from whenever but I thought as after I'd brought it I realized last night I was like wait I could do it that way and that wouldn't be even better so that's how I'm going to do it and I'm really excited it's just a plain scrapbook the pages inside are plain as well and yeah just something that I, I can just decorate the front and then put all of my favorite moments in from this year. And also the other scrapbook I got, 
because I'm going away this year, I'm going to America, like I've mentioned so many times, I could have just included that in that scrapbook, but I know there's gonna be a lot that I'm gonna to wanna to include. As soon as I saw this one, I just knew I had to get it, and I knew that it would be perfect for the memories of our holiday to America, and any other holidays or adventures that I go on that are like that. And it's this one, and it has a picture of a map on it, and it says, Adventure Awaits, and I just love the design of this. I love maps, I just think they look so cool, and I'm just really into stuff like that. And I thought this would be perfect to scrapbook my holiday in and I could just do a little page or two for each day and I just think this would be so cool and even for any other holidays I go on in the future I could include that in here because there's a lot of pages in it so I don't think I'll fill them all just on the one holiday, who knows, but I could always use it for more than one holiday and I just think this is really cool and this has got like a blue tie rather than a black one which I think is quite cute. It's actually quite lucky because it's got the red, white and blue which is the American flag colours so it's like it was meant to be. <laughs> I will probably get some more stuff for the scrapbook like some stickers and stuff. There were a lot of stickers in Hobbycraft but I didn't really like any of them enough to get them so I didn't. <laughs> But I got these um, to use to like label each thing, um, like each section of my scrapbook. And I know I'll probably run out of these pretty quickly, so I might have to get some more, but I could just use them for parts of it. I don't know how I'm gonna do it yet, but I brought these little wooden letters. They're like Scrabble letters. As you can probably see, they've got the letter and then like how many points you'd get if you're playing Scrabble. And I thought this would be really cool to add to the scrapbook. These were four pounds. I forgot to mention how much everything else was because I'm rubbish at this. Um, the makeup, this is like four pound 19, I think. This is five pounds or five pound 50. And this is about five pounds as well. Maybe it's more than that. I can't remember. I'm really rubbish at this. And then the scrapbooks were three pounds each. They did have bigger ones for six pounds, but I just got the smaller ones because I thought that would work just as well. Um, yeah, and then these were four pounds. And I guess that's kind, is that pricey for pieces of cardboard? I don't know. It's not really cardboard, it's more like wood. I don't know. I just really like them so I couldn't not pick them up. And then finally, this is actually from WH Smith and these are self-adhesive photo corners. You basically stick them down onto like the back of your photo so that you can stick them into the book. So this will be good for that. I can just stick my photos down with this and I suppose I could use it for like tickets and stuff to stick on the back of those. These were only 2 dollars as you can see on the front, but it was like buy one get one free or buy one get one half price. So um, me and Luke got a pack each and yeah. That is everything in this haul. I realised it was kind of all over the place because I was forgetting to tell you prices, I was rambling about why I brought certain things and just, it's just my life isn't it? I just ramble and don't really make much sense. But yeah, that is what I brought. Um, I thought I could do some more videos on my scrapbook related stuff if that is something you'd be interested in. I've seen a lot of people do like bullet journal videos and scrapbook videos so I thought if I did some videos on that that would be quite cool. I don't know, maybe once I've filled it up more, I can go through them and show you everything or show you how I design my scrapbook. I feel like my designs are not gonna be that creative. So there might be videos on that coming soon, but we shall see. But yeah, that's everything. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a massive thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any scrapbook tips or anything like that. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.